Commanding Officer, Naval Air Station Jacksonville. Captain David Yoder, Commanding Officer, Naval Station Mayport. Colonel Richard Coffey, Deputy Commander, 125th Fighter Air Wing, Florida Air National Guard. Colonel Andrew Bergen, Commander, United States Marine Corps, Blum Island Command. Captain Mike Mark Vlon, Commander, United States Coast Guard Sector Jacksonville. Captain Michael Campbell, Commanding Officer, United States Coast Guard Hit Run, Jacksonville. Captain Chester Parks, Commanding Officer, Naval Submarine Base Kings Bay. And Captain Mike Matthew Case, Commanding Officer, Naval Hospital, Jacksonville. Thank you so much for being here, Shipmates. And I want to recognize all of our Vietnam veterans. If you're a Vietnam veteran, stand up and let us recognize you. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. We can never do enough to make up for what we didn't do back when you all came home. So thank you so much. And now, as I always do at these ceremonies, I'd like to ask all the first responders to stand and be recognized. Police, fire, EMTs, and public safety professionals are held in the very highest regard among military and veterans communities. So we thank you for being here today. You provided not only the security to keep us safe, but the ladder trucks for our backdrop, as well as the bells to wait each of the restands here on my left today. Chief Wilson, who is retiring in less than a week, and Sheriff Wilson, thank you. Appreciate it. Excuse me, Sheriff Wilson. I would next like to invite those among us who understand better than most the sacrifice made in defense of our own freedoms. Will the Gold Star mothers and Gold Star families please stand and be recognized? next little bit is very special, very special for all of us. We're honored to have some very special members of our community of the United States' greatest generation. These gentlemen took part in the landings and operations at Normandy almost 75 years ago. 75 years ago next week, as a matter of fact. I would now like to invite John Frank, Kurt Griffin, and Walter Rogers to please stand and be recognized. Gentlemen, you're up. heroes living among us. Well, those gentlemen are definitely heroes living among us, and we are honored to have you with us here today. Today's ceremony will begin with the Jacksonville Pipes and Drums, as it always does. They will be followed by students of the Duval County Public Schools JROTC programs and a veteran color guard for the massing of the colors. We will now begin our ceremony. Jacksonville Pipes and Drums, clear the wall.
Today's invocation will be offered by Bishop Rudolph W. McKissick, Sr., Pastor Emeritus, Bethel Baptist Institutional Church. Let us pray. Oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter in the stormy blast and our eternal home. For the healing order stood of earth and received her frame from everlasting. Thou art God, through endless years the same. And that's why we are standing this morning beautiful day, the day thou hast made, given us every reason to rejoice 